Hello guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make different kinds of ghosts in Minecraft. Here's one of them, if you would just move. Wait a second. There we go. So that's one of the ghosts. Here's another one, which, um, ignore the unblock veil. That's just because they want to get the same things. So let's go check. So here are the command blocks. Not all of these are even active right now. I have it set up so you can change different things. So I'm going to um turn leave those on. I'm gonna kill all those ghosts. Now I'm gonna summon a new one. So he was one of them. He broke my sign, but there was the unblocked ghost, which you can change easily. I'm going to turn off the light ghost and turn it into a dark ghost. So now if you see that. And this into my last one I've made, which is the fire ghost. Ignore the fire is purple. I have a resource pack on. It changes the color fire, so I'm going to kill him. Now I'm going to show you how it works. So basically, I'm going to, um, it's basically just a bat that has a block being set to it. And then we'll move around it over and over again while getting particles. But you can see if I turn off this invisible, the invisible thing, he, it's just a bat. He has a special tag that makes him be able to be detected from this. So that's how all the basics of it works. And yeah, now I'm going to show you all the commands and how this is working. So with these commands, I have a few different things that I showed you. I can make him invisible, which I suggest. Uh, I have the light ghost, dark ghost, fire ghost. I have all these special ones, which are the same as this, just without the block. And these are some special things, which this one makes all players in a way to just get blindness, and this makes all of the, all, well, the ghost glow, not all the players glow. And I'll show you about that in a second. So. So summoning the ghost is quite easy. You summon, all I'm doing is summoning a bat that has the tag of ghost. And I'm going to put most of these commands in the description of the video. So that's how you summon the ghost. To kill it, I just kill at E. Type is not a play on tag of this ghost. You'll see why I put the not play or they on a bit. So this would just kill all of the things. So in case you actually gave a ghost a tag. I mean, a play or the tag ghost, it won't get killed. And then there's the invisible ghost. This is just affecting everyone that has the tag of ghost with invisibility for one second without portals. These are all based all all of the same except one slight thing. So what it's doing is it's executing for all ghosts. Well, everyone that has the tag of ghost, setting the block to stained glass. And then this, which is a conditional chain, is after that one, it's filling the area around him, one block in each direction, with ale. Well, with ale, only replacing stained glass, so this guy can't break your windows if you have stained glass. Then it's setting the block to stained glass again, otherwise it would just never be seen. And then up here, it's just an easy particle getting executed from everyone that has the tag of ghost. It's the same on all of these, except why I changed the, the um, damage value. So this would be black glass, this is white glass, or white stained glass, and black stained glass. This one is red stained glass. These just are replacing the stained glass, so these are the same. These also have the number change, and these are a different particle. Okay, now these these three, which are no block, is just the top command block, the particle. I'll show you one of those with the um, light ghost, I need to make them invisible. This is what those look like. It's hard to tell where they are, so I that's why I like using the block. The block doesn't look too good. Now we also have the ghost blindness and ghost, ghost glows, which I'm going to show you by... um. Summoning an invisible ghost with a block with blindness. Now, when I summon it in, I have blindness for three seconds. 
whenever I get close to that block. So if I get close to it, it gives me blindness. I'm going to now kill that ghost. Turn off the ghost blindness and turn on the ghost glows. This one looks a lot better without the block. I think at least. See, now you can see where the ghost is. Which this one you can actually kill. It does look like a bat, but I don't see the problem with bats. So let's kill him. Turn these off. And for these ones, the ghost blindness is just executing from the uh, everyone that's tagged the ghost, affecting all players in a range of five that does not have the tag of ghost with blindness for three seconds without particles. And this is just affecting everyone with the tag of ghost with glowing for one second. And over here are the last two things. Become a ghost and become a human. All these are always adding the tag of ghost or moving the tag of ghost from here. So now I have the ghost tag. So I'm going to activate the um, invisible ghost. As you can see now I'm invisible. The ghost, well, the ghost glows. So I glow. And I'm going to turn on this. So now I also give up particles. So as you can tell, I am now a ghost and I and I can fly in sense in creative mode, and I am a ghost. But as you can tell, because I said earlier, oh, forgive me, this has it, so it's everyone that's not a player, so if I were to do that, it won't kill me. Also, the ghost blindness affects all players that own a ghost, so I don't get blindness. It's really helpful. And then I have the become a human button, which removes that tag, so I become a human again. Which it these, like I said, all you was just adding the tag of ghost and removing the tag of ghost from me. I had just forgotten to add this one, which is the other ghost, which is dead now. This is this ghost, which it kind of is messed up because of the bottom, but other than that, it looks pretty good. So this one, if I would turn off the invisibility, is a zombie with this ghost block on his head, which that is a wee textured block, which I have wee textured packed ice. So it's just this command, which he's also silent, which has him have on his head a packed ice. So it just, you know, looks like he's a ghost when he's invisible. Like so. See? So it looks like he's a ghost fly. And I think that's basically it for this small tutorial. If you guys enjoyed, then you should like this video. If you want to see more videos such as this, then you should subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.